Hi everyone, you looking for the latest deals on GOG and right now there is the Chill Indie Sale which has some amazing games that I think you might want to get if you've been waiting for them, they're on sale now and I'm gonna go over the best sellers and also my personal favorites which I think you might want to get because I think they're really good so I wanted to share this with you in case you've been missing it. Also if you'd like to support this channel and uh, content like this there is a GOG referral link down below. If you click that link and buy anything on GOG, it helps support the channel. So thank you. So looking at the best sellers at the current chill indie sale, we've got a Firewatch, No Man's Sky, Torchlight, Torchlight uh, 2, Outlast, Loop Hero, Dorf Romantic, Noita. There's, there's all of these games here on the best sellers, but it's not just these games. If you've never shopped on GOG, or you know, you're not sure what the sales are, it's not just these games. If you scroll down, you'll see there's just over 300 games on sale in this category. So I want to, these are the best sellers you can see on screen, but I want to go over a number which in no particular order that I think are my personal favorites in this sale. So first of all, there's No Man's Sky. What a redemption story. Ah, when I first covered No Man's Sky, saying it was an upcoming game, everyone was so hyped and I was skeptical and everyone was calling me out for being skeptical. And then No Man's Sky released and then apparently my very same opinions of being skeptical was not harsh enough. Everyone was calling me out for not being harsh enough on the game. The video didn't even change, it was an old video. <laughs> and then over time, they started calling me too harsh again. The same old video. No Man's Sky has definitely improved over the years and it's it's just, I think, universally regarded as pretty much amazing at this point. So here's, here's something with the GOG review scores. Quite often, the, not many people leave reviews on GOG. Also, GOG reviewers, I think in general, seem to be harsher than Steam reviewers. But anyway, you can always check the reviews. But if No Man's Sky is anything to go by these days, it's generally pretty good, particularly because all of the updates since its release have actually been free and not DLC. So it's just No Man's Sky. You can get No Man's Sky, which is No Man's Sky. Isn't that refreshing? Dorf Romantic. This was an unexpected hit. I, I did, when I first looked at this game, I didn't expect it to blow up like it did, but it essentially invented a subgenre. <laughs> it's a tile-based puzzle uh, placement game kind of thing. And, you know, it, it, it seemed like a nice little chill, cozy, relaxing experience. And I think after all of the years of stressful, hardcore survival builders, people were really just desperate for a nice, chill, relaxing time. And maybe through the pandemic and all of that, people just wanted to, to relax. And Dorf Romantic hit I, I want to say hit hard, but it hits soft and so many people love it. Uh, other games are starting to emulate it and trying to, to iterate on it. And essentially it's kind of its own little subgenre now, this, this cozy tile placement puzzle builder thing. So I can definitely recommend this if you haven't tried it already. Unavowed. This is a point and click adventure game, but this is probably one of the best point and click adventure games of the last decade. A lot of people are saying that, oh, the point and click adventure genre is dead. No one plays these anymore. No one makes these anymore. Well, this, this isn't a particularly new game, but uh, when did this actually release? This released in 2018, not too long ago. Uh, whoa, that was, 2018 was half a decade ago. <laughs> oh, uh, I think we're old. <laughs> 2018 was half a decade ago. Never mind. Unavowed is still one of the best point-and-click adventure games of the last decade from half a decade ago, apparently. And if you've never seen it and you've never played it, you want to try a point-and-click adventure game, this one's good. It's got a great story. I don't want to spoil it because spoilers are always good, but it's 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 got some good surprises and everything. And the theme's great. It's It's spooky, it's original, it's really nice. I can highly recommend Unavowed. Inculinati. This is... Uh, I'm recommending this just because it's kind of different. This this is a... a, an, a how do I describe this? It's it's like a ink... Well, it says an ink-based strategy game straight from medieval manuscripts where a rabbit's bum can be deadlier than a dog's sword. I guess that's how you could explain it. It's It's a comedy medieval manuscript kind of game 
which is just different. Uh, like, you, you should go just check this out because in terms of originality, people are always asking, oh, where's the originality? Where's the, where's the uniqueness these days? Well, here's one which is pretty much different from everything else. And uh, I mean, it's Monty Python-esque, but it, it is it is quite different. So go ahead and check out Inculinati, and that would be pretty cool in general, I think. Now, I know Darkest Dungeon 2 is out and everyone loves it, but if you're looking for a Darkest Dungeon experience on a much lower budget, look at this Darkest Dungeon 1, 85% off. Look at this price drop. This is, I mean, for that price, you can't complain. It's, it's a fantastic game, wonderful voice acting, amazing gameplay, aesthetics and atmosphere are just phenomenal. And for... What is this? This is going to basically be in your local currency, probably like three US dollars, two pounds, eighty nine, three, three fifty dollars. Like it's 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 so, so cheap. And the extra content is on discount as well. If you're interested in that, this one's even free. So Darkest Dungeon, easy recommend. And if you want Darkest Dungeon 2, but haven't played Darkest Dungeon 1, but also Darkest Dungeon 2 is a little pricey right now, get Darkest Dungeon. Next is uh, a, an interesting kind of text-based adventure game, which I played a little bit, not on the channel, but I played a little bit, and it's actually really cool. The writing is really well done, and it's, it's I mean, text-based adventures are an old school thing, but, you know, it's, you can see there's, there's, a lot of very nice stylized pixel art graphics and a lot of choices and dialogue and honestly the the amount of choice and adventure you can have in this game is quite surprisingly amazing at first glance this seems like a very simple very a uh, basic kind of indie game, but it's actually got a lot to it. It takes a bit of getting used to, especially if you're not into text-based adventures, but I was just mentioning how old we all are, so I'm expecting you guys should be... So I'm, just, I'm expecting you all should be able to get into a text-based adventure. Well, if you're into more of a classic sort of actual role-playing text-based adventure, Road Warden is... is uh, very interesting and not very common these days. It's sort of like what the old text-based adventures wanted to be because th this does actually have so much choice, so much adventure, so much writing. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, I do have to recommend RimWorld. I think everyone knows about RimWorld these days. 20% off makes it a great price. RimWorld, it's it's just, uh, I mean, if Dwar all these base building games are inspired by Dwarf Fortress, by the way. It, but this is a sci-fi base building survival game, which has expanded and expanded and expanded over the years since its release in 2018. And it's just, it's, the, the, it's just an amazing game, which I think most of you know about. But if you don't have RimWorld, well, then it's on sale. 20% off is a great price for a great game. All right, and there you have it. That's the chill indie sale going on on GOG right now, but GOG always has sales. So if you're watching this video in the future, you could check those same games or just check the GOG page and see what sale is going on right now. Because honestly, I think they have like a sale every month and I might want to go over my favorites every month just, just because <laughs> I think it's cool to see what's on sale and I can share it with you guys. And remember, if you want to support the channel or just thank me for bringing you this information, use the GOG referral link down below. That's all. Go get some games on the cheap and I'll see you in the next video.